The very first chapter of the book Theory of Everything talks about the initial ideas of the universe that gradually gave rise to the theories, ideas, knowledge, formulas, and many more thing about our universe that we know of today. Here, we'll first take a look at the ideas proposed are some profound scientists about the universe. In 340 BC, Aristotle gave two arguments. First, the Earth is a sphere, as the ships would take a round trip after keep going straight. Second, Earth was stationary at the center and the sun, moon, planets, stars revolve around the Earth. This idea was first elaborated by Ptolemy in 1st century, where he said, the Earth stands in the very center of the system, surrounded by eight spheres including the sun, and fixed stars outside those spheres are stationary in the space. But there were indeed some flaws in it, and he knew of it. Later, a much simpler model was proposed by Nicholas Copernicus in 1514, where he said that sun was at the center and planets including the Earth revolves around it. But sadly, he died quite early, and his incomplete work was further taken forward by Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei. Later after the invention of telescope by Galileo, he discovered planet satellites, who he called moons, and noticed how they orbit around their respective planets. Meanwhile, Kepler suggested that planets do not revolve in circle, but in ellipse format, hence a proving Ptolemy observation, where he said that, the size of the Earth's moon varies because of its orbit path around the Earth. But the question was how do these planets and bodies maintain their orbit and what holds them in their orbit? This is where in the year 1687, Newton came into the picture with his work. Newton postulated a law of universal gravitation, where it was stated that each body in universe is attracted by a force of more massive bodies if they are closer to each other. He claimed that no matter how far a body appears in universe and how stationary it might look, but it is always in the motion. But in 1691, Richard Bentley argued that, if bodies are attracted towards each other by the effect of each other's gravity on one another, then why don't they fall together at some point? He later came up with the theory of infinite space, where it was stated that there is no center point in the space for any body to fall together. He said that the entire space is uniformly distributed and every point in space is a center because of uniform distribution of bodies around it across the entire universe. It was said that universe maintains equilibrium because of attractive force from one planet and repulsive force from the other body. But it was ruled out as either of those will eventually overcome over the counter force after some time in space. And some consequences to the tug of war between these two force was indeed to happen, and equilibrium was almost impossible to achieve. But it was hard to explain the current state of the universe without knowing the origin of the universe and how it came to existence. But in 1929, Edwin Hubble made the landmark observation and stated that wherever you look, distant stars are moving rapidly away from us. In other words, it is expanding. It seems that thousands of millions of years back they all were at exactly the same place, hence giving rise to the theory of the Big Bang later. Edwin Hubble stated that there are many more galaxies that are at a vast distance from one another. So, in order to figure out their distance from Earth, we could only rely on the light coming from those distant bodies. But the brightness of a star depends on its luminosity and its distance from us. The distance was so vast to calculate that the term light year had to come in the calculation. Hence, millions of galaxies and billions of stars like Sun were observed. Newton gave the principle of spectrum to figure out the temperature of the stars through the emitted light. This spectrum is like a rainbow, and those colors give the idea of the temperature. Gradually it was noticed there was a difference in the shift of the spectrum. The shift towards the red color implied that the galaxy is moving away from us and the shift towards the blue implied that the galaxy is moving towards us. This shift was termed as Doppler effect. It was shocked that almost every galaxy showed the shift towards red, hence they were all moving away from us, and farther the galaxy was, faster it was moving away from us, resulting the continuous growing distance between galaxies. But if universe is expanding then it should contract under the influence of gravity. But if the universe is expanding more than the certain critical rate, similar to escape velocity of Earth, then gravity would never be strong enough to expand forever. It was later proven that the space is expanding at the speed faster than the light itself, hence expanding at a tremendous rate. But as the observable universe was equally spread out in each direction, then this expansion is happening in all the directions. 